This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hello everybody, today is Monday, September 14th, 2020. 410 p.m., 75 Fahrenheit, 24 Celsius. I am at the intersection of a very complicated junction. Webster Avenue, Near Reed Avenue, McLean Avenue, Bronx River Road, and East 240th Street. And the names of which are all dependent on which side of the corner or the street you're standing on. Right now, I am standing at McLean Avenue and Bronx River Road on the Yonkers side of the border. This is the border between New York City's borough of the Bronx and the uh, Yonkers neighborhood. More specifically, the Southeast Yonkers neighborhood. And I am going to walk Little Ireland today. Now, regardless of the difference in street names, the community here still really considers themselves as one community, even though they're located in two different jurisdictions. The Irish American community has been here for a long time, some of them multiple generations. But as I said before, this is McLean Avenue I'm walking on and then on the opposite side of the street it's called 240th Street. The St. Patrick's Day Parade actually goes right in between the street. So I'm going to walk McLean Avenue walk it all the way to Kimball Avenue and then explore the Bronx side of the border of the Little Ireland neighborhood. So here's First Street and on the opposite side of the street is Bronx and this is the only street sign of McLean Avenue with the New York City design So there is a portion of McLean Avenue in New York City. You have First Street on this side, which is interesting, and then East 240th Street on the other. Big difference. But after I cross that intersection, I've completely walked into Yonkers. Now the other side of the street is Yonkers as well. Hello, squirrel. St. Barnabas High School is across the street. This is Hyatt Avenue and McLean Avenue. And then across the street is 241st Street, which is located in Yonkers, by the way. And they still use that uh, they still use that style for the street sign, so they still have a high numbered street in Yonkers. In addition to a large Irish American community, there's also a good uh, Italian American community here as well. You can see here, Amenable Italian Deli established 1986. large Italian-American bakery and um, establishment. Well, I shouldn't say bakery, it's a deli and grocery, but they get the bread from somewhere else. I saw on the sign, they say it's baked fresh daily.
Let's hurry up and make this light before this car turns. And you're gonna see the clovers designating Little Ireland. And here's McKean's Outdoor Dining, McKean's Bar and Restaurant. I actually ate here before I started this video. Have a good day. <laughs> The chicken pot pie here is delicious. Here's a uh, St. Barnabas place. And also the church there across the street. Yeah, a lot of Irish flags here too. Here's Moriarty's Bar and Restaurant. A lot of cool stuff here. Angela's Pizzeria. And then on the other side of the street, we have Benjamin Moore a dessert place called How Sweet It Is. Atlantic Anchor with homestyle fish and chips, which is distinctively Irish. Fish and chips is an Irish dish. And we have here the County Cycle Center. Dee's Deli and Cafe with the Irish flag in the front as well. And here's the Heritage Bar and Grill. Looks pretty good. Let's check out the menu. They got an extensive menu. Frozen drinks, juice bomb IPA they're serving now, pina colada. Let's cross the street. It seems like there's more activity across the street now. It's gonna be interesting to cross because there's no crossing right here. to go for it, I guess. There's Irish coffee shop across the street. Definitely know they're Irish when they have it in their name. And Fagan's Ale House. Here's a real estate place. Kimball Avenue, three bedroom for six hundred ninety-nine thousand. One family for six hundred twenty-five. Here's our European deli and grocery. Even the laundromat they have the Irish flag in the front. These people here are not ashamed to show where they come from or where their roots are from. Irish food market. McLean Avenue Bagel and Cafe. Also with some outdoor seating. And 
here's Carvel, the ice cream store. All right, now I'm going to explore the Bronx side of the border and walk left on Kimball Avenue. From what I saw on Google Maps, that's pretty much the densest part of the Irish American businesses on McLean Avenue. But there's more over here on this side. Here's St. Mark's Place located in Yonkers, not to be confused with the St. Mark's Place in the East Village. But this is St. Mark's Lutheran Church. Looks like it was established in 1940 according to the um, the inscription there on the stone. So across the street we have Parkway North and Kimball Avenue and I'm just about to walk over the border into New York City's Bronx Borough and this part of the Bronx will be called Woodlawn and more specifically Woodlawn Heights because it's above the Woodlawn Cemetery. So I remember walking up here during my live stream. I didn't know about this neighborhood before, but there's another part of Little Ireland along this street, which is called Katona Avenue. And this I completely missed up. It's entirely within the Bronx borough. I'm actually going to cross the street because I see some caution tape over there. Plus there's an interesting sign over there I want to show everybody. You see here, Katona Avenue and Van Cortlandt Park uh, East. At the top there it says Woodlawn Heights Shopping District. Welcome to Woodlawn Heights Shopping District. So we're going to head right down here and check out this shopping district for the first time. You can see here someone has the Irish flag waving in their porch area. Looks like the city is redoing this curb over here. All of the curbs as a matter of fact. pretty quiet in this section of Katona Avenue. I think there'll be, there'll be more businesses further down the street. Okay, I see there's a laundromat coming soon here and also the New York Public Library branch.
just ahead of me. But I'm going to cross the street because I see some outdoor dining options over there. Again, the sign, welcome to Woodlawn Heights Shopping District. Here's the Woodlawn Post Office. Here's Patrizzi's Brick Oven Pizza. Pizza's more associated with the Italian community. House of Barbers. And also the Avenue. Looks like a very nice Irish bar and restaurant. Wow, they're really redoing all these curbs. Oh, I can go here because there's no cars coming, but take a look at this clover here. They even have it in the middle of the intersection. Katona Irish Mini Market across the streets. And we have Keen's Bar and Restaurants. Very cool. And here is a Irish butcher in Delhi. The Prime Cuts, Jumbo Burger and Chips and Fish and Chips special. You don't even need to go to a restaurant, just come in here and order something to take out. Here's Linda's Pizza. And we have here a place called The Kitchen. They have spicy wedges and Dabira tacos it looks like a fusion restaurant doesn't look Irish or Mexican or Hispanic really because if you have burgers and tacos then that's definitely not either or it's a mixture of both it's the only answer Yeah, look at this. There's so many Irish businesses here. How did I miss, uh, miss this up the first time I walked here? But I'm glad I came back. I am definitely going to go across the street here. Looks like there's one big Irish restaurant at the corner on, on this side. But there's more businesses on this side, so... I'll check this side of the street and then I'll point the camera across the street once I'm done. The Woodlawn gift shop, as well as Katona pizza and pasta. Seems like it's Irish and Italian mixed in this neighborhood, not just distinctively Irish. The Woodlawn wash and dry. There's a lot of people dining out over here. And over here, there's the party room. Great name for a restaurant. And the Rambling House Bar and Lounge. Really neat. And this is the Hands Public House. Sports Bar, Beer, Wine, Spirits. Very awesome. Great to see such a large community of people here. The Emerald Pharmacy. Here's the Rambling House again. 
They've got plenty of outdoor seating there. Katona Family Deli and Grocery with the clover at the end. Now indoor dining is going to be making a return at the end of this month, September 30th, 2020, but only at 25% of normal capacity. I like to see how these restaurants handle it at that time. There's the Lark's Nest Pub across the streets. There's just one tavern. Looks like they're playing Queen on the radio, so I'm gonna talk over it. Hopefully I do not get copy striked. And here's Aquid up north and John Mulligan's across the streets. And Sean's quality deli with the clover on top. Looks very fresh. People are inside right now getting some things to eat and take out. And you have the local supermarket, Sea Town. I think most of the Irish businesses aren't concentrated anymore after this corner. In fact, this isn't even an Irish business. It's Bella Napoli Pizzeria and Restaurant. And I may have hit the border of Woodlawn Heights over here, 233rd Streets and Katona Avenue. So I'm going to end the video here because there really isn't too much of an Irish American dense populated street left because I'm at the border of the Woodlawn Cemetery. But um, if you enjoyed this video through New York's Little Ireland, be sure to smash that like button for me, subscribe for some more videos and live streams, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I want to thank the sponsors of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning platform where people go to explore inspiring classes on many topics, such as illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. In fact, I'm currently taking the Productivity Masterclass by Ali, and he has been so helpful with various tips and tricks to be more efficient. In his myth of I don't have time video, he explains how we all have time, but it's just the way we prioritize the activities throughout our day. Most classes are under 60 minutes long with short lessons to fit any schedule. And because Skillshare is sponsoring today's video, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the video description will get a two-month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. And even after your two months is up, it costs less than $10 per month to remain a member. 
It's really one of the most affordable learning platforms out there. So check out Skillshare.